Oh yeah, how's it going guys? Classic Homer here. Welcome to my new Let's Play of Dragon Quest VIII, which is a RPG for the PS2 that I'm pretty sure most people didn't play just because of how archaic these games tend to be. Yeah, it, it's, you know, your typical old school, kick you in the nuts RPG. Dragon Quest, I mean, you either like it or you don't. So, we're gonna start this up. I got a couple files here from ages gone by, I mean, most of these files haven't been played since sometime in 2010. So, in two years ago, but, I don't know, I just got a hankering for playing some Dragon Quest. Especially since Alexandra and I have been doing some Dragon Quest IX co-op. I, what can I say? I absolutely love the series, and I haven't done one of these games yet, so it'll be a new experiment for me. It's probably going to require lots of editing. So we open up with this sepia tone scene of a castle. Filling us in on a little bit of a legend. Forbidden power and the form of vines or and or tentacles. Oh no, not Trudane's darkest hour. We have no idea what any of that means at this point. Don't worry. All will be told in time. Ah, this looks like it's trying to display in widescreen. Which is probably bad. I'll fix it here in a moment. I can't actually do it right now. It's an adorable mouse with an awesome mohawk. Yeah, that's a long ass run. What the fuck is that? It's Yoda. I know that's what everyone says about this character, but how can you not look at that and see anything other than Yoda, and or possibly a goblin? <laughs> it's gonna get dark if we hang about here much longer. Love the voice acting. There's better places than this to spend an evening. He's right, we should go to the town before we're on set by a bunch of monsters. Shake a leg, Gov! And apparently, we are Gov. We don't actually have a name. You know, not by the game's typical naming structure. Okay, let's... Yeah, my recording equipment isn't set for a wide screen display. So that should look a bit better. Unless everyone thinks that oddly thin characters look really good. I don't know. If this looks weird to you guys, tell me and I'll set it back. So let's talk to Yengus and get the hell out of here. I've probably said it before, but it beats me how you ended up working for an old codger like him. I work for that? Not that I can talk, do I? Guess people say the same thing about me. Working for you. That's right. You're... Well, I was going to say my bitch, but I don't think it's quite that kind of relationship. Hmm. Who's Codger? I do hope you're not referring to me. What would you know? A lowlife like you wouldn't recognize the ability if it came up and bit you on the ah. <laughs> Probably could have delivered that last line better. Where's the princess? I can't see her anywhere. I also love how whenever someone's going to say your name, they just completely skip over it. Yeah, unfortunately, the main character is a silent protagonist. Oh no, slimes! Uh oh, here comes trouble, Gav. However, will we deal with a bunch of slimes? So. Typical battle system. 
You can actually set characters to, you know, act on their own, but I never do that. I kind of hate not having control. And in this Dragon Quest game, as opposed to many others, you can actually select different targets. Like, everything doesn't just come in as one group, and you have to select an enemy in that group. So, that's pretty nice. It's one of those natural progression kind of things that the series had resisted for a very long time. There, see? Slimes are nothing. That was simple. I think they typically have like 8 to 10 HP. Don't quote me on that. I'm not looking at bestiary right now. Well, they certainly took us by surprise, but nothing we couldn't handle, eh? We? I'm sorry, man. You didn't do a thing. Now, where's the princess? Where's my Medea? My precious one and only daughter. Oh god, I can't imagine what a female version of that's going to look like. Ah, there you are. Thank goodness you're safe, Medea. What? Medea is a horse. Hey, hey. The horse princess is back. The horse princess? I say we make a move now, before it gets dark. There must just be a figure of speech. There's no way he has any kind of direct lineage to that horse. That doesn't make sense. Well, we'll all figure it out in time. And yes, I know what's going on. I'm just not going to tell you guys. And don't spoil it in the comments, even though this isn't a very story heavy game you know by comparison to Final Fantasy games if you know what's going on just keep it to yourself I wanna actually go through this whole thing and make it enjoyable for as many people as possible so apparently we're under the employment of Trode who travels with this horse and cart? Maybe he's a merchant of some sort, or has some good reason to be going from town to town. Perhaps we're just travelers. Or maybe we're some kind of entertainment troupe. Who knows? But I mean, come on. This world's gonna be populated by all kinds of different creatures, right? I mean, Cho can't be that strange, can he? As it's not like there's a world populated almost exclusively with humans here. Of course, everyone is giving us weird looks. Maybe they don't see very many travelers? Oh god, what happened to that? Looks like there should have been a house there, but uh... Well, it's a smoldering wreckage instead. I really do like the orchestral soundtrack in this game, though. Hopefully I'm not talking over it too much for you guys. Yes! Yes! Here we are. If my memory serves me correctly, this is the place. The place this for what? is the town where Master Rylus lives. Oh, okay. Hold your horses, Grandad. I thought it was Dolmagus we was after. So who's Master Rylus, and why are we after Dolmagus? I am not your Grandad! And of course Dolmagus is our man! He's the one who turned Medea and I into such laughing stocks. Okay... But that dastardly magician can't hide from us forever. We must track him down. And lift this confounded curse. Oh, just look at my poor Medea. And we'd only just settled on her engagement to the Prince of Argonia. Oh, that despicable Dulmagus. That's why it's imperative we locate Rylus. Will you go and find him? Sure.
That's the spirit. I knew I could rely on you. I'll be waiting here. Okay then. So, there you have it. Apparently, we have king and princess here who have been transformed by some magician, Dual Magus, into, uh, don't know what the, they're supposed to actually end up being here. Some kind of troll and a horse. You weren't thinking of going without me, I hope. There sure was. The best there is when it comes to looking for people. It's my piece of resistance, as they say. Okay. Well, then let's go. Stand around like a oaf, doing nothing. Yep, we have to actually go to the churches to save if we're going to, you know, keep track of our progress here. Oh goodness, this camera is unusual for me. It's all inverted and stuff. Well then, the first thing we should do is begin exploring this town. Just grab up the barrels and throw them, smash them to pieces and get our loot. We can even go and all the various different parts of houses. Hmm, let's raid this... I think this is the item shop? Possibly the inn. Whatever, we're gonna raid him of his supplies back here. Okay then. Yep, just ran around your back door and stole three gold from you. And you did nothing about it! Let's see. Yeah, that's the end. No, we can go in the end for now. Let's end these. Nothing, of course. What do you got to say? Uh, now you can tell me what's going on, man. I'm a good-natured, helpful traveler. Just, you know... Yak my ears off and maybe I can help you with something. I mean, it is an RPG after all. So we got some clothes in there and... No, holy water. Holy water is an item you can use to make encounters happen less often. And a chimera wing. That lets us warp to towns we've been to. And a cypher stick. That's actually a downgrade for the weapon the hero currently has. It counts as a sword type, even though it's a stick. Okay, cool. Exploring tips. Yeah, treasure chests are pretty awesome. Of course, they're all going to look something like that. <laughs> I like the, uh, the mindset here. Why are they searching us here? Who cares? They're for you to loot! And just assume that it's there because of the goddess. Alright then. So yeah. Oh, bags. That's the game encouraging you to get used to looting everything you can. Because unlike, you know, modern day RPGs or Skyrim or anything like that, there's no penalty for just grabbing everything you can. Hmm. <laughs> wow. Someone's being a dick to her. Okay then, apparently I'm going to make the assumption these two had a run-in with some called Russia character and he's apparently being a dick. I approve. Okay guys, next time on Let's Play Dragon Quest VIII, we're going to explore the rest of this town, which I don't think we've gotten the name for yet. So until then, Classic Homer signing out. You guys have a good night.